Today, we weren't quite asked the question, but it's a statement that somebody made and wants my comment on it. And it says, it's time to stand up and share the message. Absolutely, that's true. And it is time. It always is time. But we have to remember how to share it. We can't beat people over the head with the message. We can't say, you're evil, you're doing this or that. that that's not going to work. We have to start with love. Love for that person, no matter how cruel or whatever they're doing. You have to love the person. You can hate the sin, but you have to love the person. And you have to speak to whoever you're speaking to in very loving, compassionate, and empathetic ways. Now, I'm going to stop there for a second. The only way you're going to be, lead, to be believed is if you live the message you're going to talk about. Not just one time or two times, but consistently in your life. So you have to be an, a living example of the message. That's the first place to start. That's the only way you're going to be believed. Otherwise, you'll appear as a hypocrite, and it's hard to outlive the label of hypocrite. It stays with you. Unless you change, and you change for a long period of time. You know, if we talk about something else, you know, it can't be, oh, I had a steak. We never come back to that. that that's gone. You have to live a life that is in the heavenly will of God and of most of the time we get asked to stand up and tell the truth. And if not, when you see something going on, you can verbally say, well, I'm not going to participate in this because I don't believe that this is right. Or I don't believe in, in this way of living. But you have to say it so that it'll be received. Uh, when I go into a restaurant and I let them know that I'm vegan and what do you have on the menu? I've had people in the restaurant said, I'm sorry, we don't have anything. We, we can make you a salad. That's not a meal. You can live on salads and bulk on salads and have that as the main meal. You have that as the main serving, but you still need other things in the diet besides the salad. And you have to approach people in a way that makes them on the defensive. That, you know, if you walk into a restaurant and you ask for a, a vegan meal and they don't have it, but if they say, oh, yeah, we, can, we have a vegan meal, then you go and, you know, you order that way but you let them know you're vegan. That's standing up to share the message. It's that simple. You don't have to go into all of the details about it. If you get to know the person a little bit, you know, you can do something different. If you get asked to say a prayer and you're in a vegan where everything is vegan and you can say, thank you, Lord, that no animal had to suffer or die for us to enjoy your bountiful gifts. That's standing up and sharing the message. And even, and I've seen a pastor jolt when I said that, but he still said amen. He didn't counter it, but it shocked him. And sometimes that's okay. We just have to live the truth. And don't be afraid to talk about it. Amen.